Libras, I hope you're doing well. I want to say thank you so much for being here. My name is Genevieve. This is A Touch of Tarot. We are going to be doing your August Leo season reading, and I keep on putting emphasis on Leo season because this is a big one. We also have the portal closing for the Aquarius full moon portal. I believe that will close up around the 22nd. Do your own research and check on it. I don't know if anyone calls it a portal besides me, but it is a portal, okay? I also also want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, all of my old subscribers and friends. Thank you for being here and being on this channel and any support you give me, whether it be by do donations, um, whatever it may be, liking the videos, it's all so great, greatly appreciated. I was just going to say I'm so grateful for it. Okay, guys. So that's a side message. I don't know what it is yet, but the way that this reading is going to go is there's 10 questions. After that, I'm going to be doing a 12 question reading on Patreon for you. So let's get into this Libra. The 10 questions will be the core of the relationship, what you're getting from it. Um, sorry, what your person's getting from it, what you're getting from it, what is upsetting your person, what is upsetting you, another side messages. Wow, you got a couple here. Um, and we'll get those at the end. What you need to pay attention to, okay, very important. And with the what is upsetting you, um, that's very important as well to make sure that this is your story. Uh, the illusion, what to stop, what will happen, and the outcome, okay? So let's begin. First question always gets the two cards, partially to help with description as well, okay? So I'm just going to remember what you're getting from it. What is upsetting you? Okay, let's move that over there. Um, I'll sort those out after attention what is the illusion to stop what will happen and the outcome okay so this is really beautiful i'll be clarifying with the pagan tarot um for those of you that ask what i use for this clarification when it's the purple back it's not my favorite favorite but it is one of my favorites my favorite is the blue back and i don't know the name of it right now anyhow i just want to say if you choose to go and buy the pagan tarot please make sure you read all the descriptions of the cards because they do differ from traditional even if it's just slightly that's what helps you get a more precise um defined reading okay so let's begin thank you so much libra for being here and we go to the first question the core of the relationship right now well 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 libra <laughs> it's it's difficult it's testy is what i'm hearing it's difficult um it's hard to explain um there's no actual way to explain it. There's definitely a lot of love here. There could actually be three people involved. And I'm only saying that because I'm just noticing like the sword, the sword, the sword. So pe three people, you know, being hurt here, um, having issues in this situation, very possible. With your card coming out right away, you're determined to restore balance to this is what I get. And in the sense, you're determined in the way like, you're not putting up with the same stuff as before. You're not putting up with confusion. I feel like the core of this relationship right now is it is time to come out of confusion. It is time to restore balance and fairness here. It is time to communicate, whether it be you finally communicating your truth instead of staying in this energy of confusion, or whether it be you like demanding that this gets cleared up. This is the core of the relationship right now. Let's just clarify a little about that. I know that there's a lot of love. I think a lot of you have had so much love in this situation. You're just, you're done. You're, you're, you're wanting to free yourself of a burden, some energy here. And it could have to do with the communication, Libra, especially because you're an air sign. You know, it's important. And it's really important to an air sign to communicate. And if you're not in your element, you know, of communication, you might feel like you're like a fish out of water, okay? Let's clarify a little. You're just tired of it is what I'm getting. Look at the four of cups. So what I'm actually getting here is like this person does come in. This person does take action to you sometimes, but it still leaves you in a lot of confusion. The reason that could be is that it's more sexual or pleasure related, um, a lot of fun, but not a lot of talking. Like, where do we stand? What are we doing? You might even be doing really like serious things with this person. Like this girl looks like she's on a picnic, you know, um, or waiting for this person to come join her for a picnic and sitting there wondering like, yeah, we have all these great times, but what is this? Where is it going? Okay. I do think that this person offers you loving gestures all the time and you accept them, but there's no, 
um, clarity here. Okay, plain and simple. So what is your person getting from this? Okay, well, we have money. Um, it's not money. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I always kind of say that. Um, ah, what is your person getting from this? An opportunity is really what they're getting, but it would need them to take some sort of action. Um, they're getting a real big opportunity if they choose to see it. They're getting lessons here. This person is getting asked questions at a crossroad. Um, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? I think the person you're dealing with is dealing with a situation where the love has run out. And then they have the situation with you, which seems to be very um, solid in a sense. I'm only seeing one cup standing, right? But they know that they have a choice here. Sorry, I just can't compete with those car um, energies. So here we go. So they know they have a chance. So they're getting an, an option to have an opportunity to um, cross a crossroad. It's really interesting in this 10 of wands. I see this energy of this person. Like, look at her feet. It's like they're crossed. Two wands are crossed. Uh, it's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm only seeing actually nine wands, to be honest with you. I like to like get specific like that sometimes. I'm sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm getting like eight or nine wands here. You know. <laughs> It's not even 10 wands. That's interesting. So if it's nine wands, um, it's time for this person to make a choice, to stop stop procrastinating, stop delaying. This is an opportunity that's taken quite a long time um, or it's been there for quite a long time, but it's not going to be there forever is what I get. And I do feel that this person has just taken their gosh darn time. Wow. Okay. So what are you getting from this? Let's see. It could be anything, right? It's interesting because, <laughs> let me clarify before I say this. I just feel like you and this person are actually, in a sense, learning, um, com uh, not common, similar lessons. So this person that you're dealing with is getting an option to finally see what you already know exists, but hasn't been able to get off of the ground. What are you getting from this? Um, to be honest, you're getting an opportunity to kind of surrender here. You know what's going on, and I feel like your person has taken some time or maybe even a little too much, and it's kind of like use it or lose it type of thing. I feel like you're meant to get in that boat and head off. Um, what you're getting from this is you're able to see that if this person doesn't come to you willingly on their own, we have the justice here again at the bottom then it's time for you to change and flip this page and go on to a new destination. So it's kind of like you're both getting an opportunity to see where you want this to go. Um, I'm just going to put that here for now. And I'm definitely seeing that energy heavily for you. For some reason for you, I think you're just tired that this hasn't gotten off of the ground. Um, this is a huge opportunity, but this person has to see it and make the choice. And this could be why you're just like, listen, I'm not going to stay in confusion anymore. I really feel like you are about to depart. Your bags are packed. You're ready to go. I don't know. I think that's a song. I don't know. And I'm seeing the four of wands for some of you. And it's at the top, right? For some of you, you had big wishes here with this person. Okay, let's move forward. So what is upsetting your person right now? That they don't know what to do. It's very simple. The seven of cups, let's clarify and then ask why they don't know what to do. So we have the 10 of swords. When it comes to your person, there's definitely an external factor that has to be closed out. Okay, like to clarify the first question for them, they get the 10 of wands, they're at a crossroad, they have to make a choice, they have to drop this burden or stick with it, but make a choice. And then now, what is upsetting them is that they're in confusion. What I'm hearing is like this person, maybe a king of swords energy, or maybe it's just saying you're twin, because it's great above the twin energy. Um, 
this could be your energy too, but all I'm seeing is that this person doesn't want to step on anyone's. I think this person has already stepped on a lot of people's, uh, I don't know what you call it, like grass or something like that. They don't want to step on anyone else's. They don't want to break something. They don't want to, um, also there's a can of trash here. Interesting. It's like, I almost get like this person doesn't want to look like trash. I'm not sure what that means, but I do know like a lot of men, especially if they are, or like, I guess anyone, but especially um, ones that work very hard for what they have, uh, they, it's always an image, right? And they consider other people that do other things like trash or something like that. And I'm not saying anyone is, not at all. Like I have all sorts of friends and I know all sorts of people, but I understand that some people get scared of that, um, what they consider a lackful lifestyle. That's what I see here, almost like trailer park energy. It's not bad, guys. Trailer parks can be beautiful, okay? Um, but I'm just getting this energy. Like they don't, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. They don't want to say the wrong thing anymore. That's upsetting this person. And like, they can't even like go through their front door. I don't know what that means. Maybe they're kind of living a lie. So what's upsetting you here? Four of Wands keeps on popping up in your side. And you know why it's upsetting you? Because you very well know that this person is your person. I think for some of you, you're very aware that you and this person have had past lives together. You're meant to be together in this life. Like You're like, this is my time. This is happening for us this time. We know it. Um, but they're hung. So what is upsetting you is that, you know, your twin is stuck in a different situation. Let's see what this card is. The eight of cups and you're ready to go. Like how much longer? Like the cab is there. The bag is packed. I'm ready to go. I don't know what that song is. Like I just, I just keep on hearing my bag is packed. I'm ready to go. But I know it's a song, but it will not go past that part. So I don't know if that's the only part of the song that matters. Maybe the rest of the song is all about coming back. I don't know what the song is. Um, like I hear the, I hear it, but yeah, sorry guys. But that's, someone will know if you do know what song I'm talking about, or if you know a couple of them, because I feel like that would be a line in a lot of songs. Let me know and I'll see if I can tell you which one it was. I'm just interested if maybe like the other part isn't about going, but this is about this person, you're upset that they're stuck in a situation. And I think you've waited a long time because it's like she's had the final draw, right? Look at that. The final cup she's putting in the reverse, by the way. You might be like, I'm going back to do something else. I'm going back to something. You might be saying that. This is in the upright, but those cups are actually in the reverse. But I just feel like, you know, maybe this person has come in and out like a good old eight times. And you're like, that's it. I'm done. Um, this could also be something that you're choosing to do this month. That's why this whole thing could be really relevant for Leo season. So let's see what else we have. What you need to pay attention to. It's really important, okay? We have the Ten of Cups, which is great. Um, but we'll see what other messages I'm getting here. With the, the Queen of Cups energy, okay, let's see what we have here. The... Um, So I'm going to tell you this, Libras. What you need to pay attention to is that, yes, this is a situation that is all that you imagine it to be. This is a very deep, true love energy here, okay? One, three, three, one. Like, I just saw that. I don't know why I just moved my paper there. I just did, though, and it was one, three, three, one, and that for me is... Um, like this death and rebirth. And that's actually the message I'm getting here is that there's been like a, an ending to this love in a sense, like just the way it is. And it's time to let go of the past, um, to know you deserve love and to kind of just be in the queen of cups energy. I see here. And so I'm hearing the song, we could have had it all. I know that song is Adele, right? But there's something here where this person really, this, and this is a king. This is someone that is able to do that, okay? I'm going to tell you that for sure for descriptive reasons. Yes, it could be um, a, a fire energy for sure. It could be. Uh, but basically, this king of wands needs to get the strength to say some truths, deal with some truths, um, maybe come forward to you and speak some truth. Stop leaving you in that type of energy. You know, just really face something here. 
you are also getting my message about uh, Libra. Like all the other cards have gotten so far, and I really feel that this is saying that, even though the way the position is, and I'll tell you why. I feel like you're doing something on your own, dressed in your pajamas. This is the whole key here. Please dress nice for the season and month of um, August. And we have this person, this King of Wands Jr. <laughs> in the page energy. Um, in his own world, he's like looking at the wand and he's like, I got to do something. Like, I got to go talk to this person. I got to go see this person. Next thing you know, we have the Knight of Wands. And so this person is like, I got to go and do this. And I feel that this is talking about this King energy. It's just telling you for uh, reference, like this is someone who does what they, they know they got to do eventually, at least, right? Eventually it may take some time, but you can expect an unexpected run in. For you, that's the message I get, okay? A run-in. Yep, look where I cut it at the chariot. It just, it could be totally unexpected. You could have something like a flat tire. And this happened to me. Some of you know my story. Um, I had a flat tire. I, I ended up going in a different neighborhood to get my tire fixed. And while I was waiting, I went to the restaurant and I bumped into someone I asked to see um, that I hadn't saw for years. Really bizarre, okay? But yeah, it will be like that. And I didn't believe that I would see them. I had actually just asked the day before because I was at that same restaurant in a different location. I'm like, oh, it would be nice to see this person. No, it didn't show up until the next day after a flat tire. And that ties into the fact that remember when you're manifesting, you know, everything has a, is a give and take to it. I wanted to see someone, I had to go through a flat tire to get that, okay? Just keep that in mind. So what is the illusion, the two of wands? Um, the illusion, I think that for, this would be more for this person, it has something to do with love. So maybe this person thinks I'll never get love. I'll never have true love. It, love isn't reachable. Maybe this person has to realize not everything has to do with money. You know, because we have two. We have the element and we have the novice of... Um, I'm just looking at these cards too. The novice of the cups, which is the knight of cups... No, sorry, the novice is the page. The novice is the page. So this person is just learning what love may be. Um, they're in their feelings, but they're, you know, they're wondering, should I go? Should I, should I make that offer to them? I know that this is a gift. So what needs to stop here? What needs to stop is the procrastination of this person with the page of wands again. And it is about, you know, something happening, but being clarified by the six of Pentacles, what needs to stop is this person needs to stop trying to be perfect and they need to get their ass in there right now because, you know, it's going to, time's running out. Now is the time. I really feel that that's relevant, okay? But now is the time. So if this person stops procrastinating and goes and freaking does what they got to do, what will happen? Lovers. Yeah, you got it. You know exactly what will happen. So um, these will be two people coming together, working things out, communicating, coming out of confusion. In this five of wands below the moon card, um, there's my twin flame energies, putting everything in order, taking front line, walking ahead of anyone that may be naysayers or doubters. They know where they're going. They're sure of it. Um, they're not arguing anymore. And with the moon energy, this could be very relevant for the next full moon coming in. And I mean, Leo, oh, Leo, there could be something happening in, in the Leo new moon. Why that's coming to me right now, I'm not sure. Because even though I know we have the Aquarian portal, um, we are in Leo right now. But this is still a full moon. So no, take that back. It's most likely having to do with the finale, which will be on the 22nd, I believe. Um, and I believe we'll be right out of Leo season at that time. But there's like a completion energy, which can lead to something great after a pause is what I'm getting. Okay, so the outcome, <laughs> 10 of Pentacles, huh? Ooh, and the star card. So it goes back to the Aquarian moon energy. Um, all I'm going to get, or all I'm going to say here, there's going to become a new awareness by the Aquarian full moon. This may lead to a new beginning and that could be whenever, okay? But this eventually leads to a return, is what I get here. Let's pull some more cards and see what's going on. 
So we'll do the, um, I had no like huge stumps, so I didn't have to pull out the big guns Libra, which is this deck right here. But look where I just cut it at four of wands. And what's at the top? The judgment in reverse. So someone hearing the call. Interesting. Or even that, can, and I'm seeing the tower. Wow. This is meant to happen however it's happening. Okay, guys. So I want to pull one for the lovers just because it's such a beautiful card. Whoa, that came out. Intense. <laughs> um. Yeah, there is going to be some intense energy come Leo season. We have the Queen of, um, sorry, Queen of our Fire here over there. And we have the Three of Cups, which is all about a reunion. There could be an intense realization or reunion here with you and this person. Remain positive. So let's get a question. You can ask it. Well, this card definitely wants to come out. And it's saying compromise. And within the next few weeks, that goes along with the message I'm already getting for you. So this is your scales. This is someone coming in and giving you what you want, Libra. This is going to be happening in the month of August. I really believe that. Um, let's get the bonus messages before we forget. So these were the first two. Whoa. <laughs> so we have the five of swords energy with the wheel of fortune. It's almost like letting go of something. Um, Someone may be letting go of some things and things are changing here or just things are being let go of. It doesn't have to be a person or anything. It could just be from above. Things are being let go of. Okay. There is a, the wheels are turning. And then we have the success card, the six of wands in Leo season, expect the unexpected. This person may come in with some ego. I don't know what to say about that. Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. Let's get one card for that. Remain positive, expect the unexpected is for you. Getting to know each other. So that for me is about taking it slow. It's safe for you to love. Um, maybe having a fresh start here. Okay. So Libra, thank you so much. Looks like your Leo season is going to be beautiful. If you want to join me for the next reading, let me tell you what the questions will be. Who is this person? So this is for descriptive reasons. How does this person see the situation? How are you seeing the situation? More descriptive energies. Um, what is this person feeling for you? Their thoughts about you? What are they hiding from you? What do they want from you? Um, and what does this person think you want? It's a big deal. What does this person not want? and what they're going to do in the next three to six weeks and what they're not going to do in the next three to six weeks, the outcome and the advice. So Libra, if you want to join me for that, I'm going to be using two totally different decks. So this could be a totally new message or it could be whatever it is. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you the best. Um, yeah, you may not expect it. Like I said, you might be in your head, but there's something coming your way. Bye for now. Patreon. Bye for now. Ciao.